Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. And it is that time again. It is that time to do my comparison of my mystery tackle box and my six cents premium bag that I get, or box, whichever you want to call it. It comes in a box, but it comes in a bag. So um, this is the six cents super six premium bag. This is the mystery tackle box pro. And we're going to do a comparison, one to one comparison. And you guys can tell me which one you like best. So stay tuned because we're going to get into it right now. Alright, so we are back and we are going to dive into these two great boxes, the Super 6 Six Cents Premium Box and the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. I'm going to try to do a one-to-one -one comparison. I'm going to pull out one more and I'm going to show you one that I feel is equivalent to each. Um, they are pretty different though um, because with the Six Cents one, um, I get mostly lures in that because that's kind of how it's set up. And then with the Mystery Tackle Box, I get lures and I get soft plastics and I get some... Uh, um, terminal tackle. I get a little bit of terminal tackle with the Six Cents too, um, but um, one of the reasons why I started doing the Six Cents is number one, I love the Six Cents lures, and number two, I wanted to get more lures. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So that's kind of why I started doing that, and um, I just love both boxes. So without anything else, we're gonna dive right into this, and we're gonna kind of see what we got in each box. I will tell you this is my second time shooting this video because the first time got messed up, and there was one other thing that was in there that was an extra that they gave me, which was a. Um, uh, Panther Martin Spinner, which you'll see in one of the, the picture when I show the side-by-side -side comparisons, but um, I actually, it's already out of the package and in one of my boxes, so you're probably not going to see me show it, but that was an extra, that was just a little throw-in that they do every now and then, <clears throat> um, and it was because they sent me a similar lore that I got a couple months ago, and a um, pretty cool thing that Mystery Tackle Box does. So let's just dive into it, and uh, show you what we got here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out this Lucky Craft. Um, crankbait. This is a square bill crankbait. It's in a bluegill color and um, it's pretty awesome. And you know what? I need to turn on some lights to make this a little bit brighter. So uh, hold on one second. Alright, there we go guys. That's a lot better. Um, I forgot to turn on my lights that I have back here for shooting these videos. So there we go. So yeah, let's get back into it. So here's the Lucky Craft that came with the Mystery Tackle Box. This is a square bill um, bluegill pattern, um, semi-clear. Um, Lucky Craft makes super awesome lures. Um, this is a great lure. Um, Great for springtime fishing, great all around fishing. I mean, I fish square bills year round and they're phenomenal. And then let's dive in here. That's what we got from there. And let's dive into the to the six cents box. And the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this huge, huge, this is a Cloud Nine um, Magnum square bill. This is in the shad pattern. And this thing is just freaking awesome. I mean, it's the biggest square bill I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, I don't usually throw things quite that large, but I am excited to throw that because Big baits catch big fish. And so super, super, super cool bait. Um, so this is what we got one to one. We got the super crazy giant cloud nine shad from Six Sense, and then we got the Lucky Craft um, crankbait from Mystery Tackle Box. So that's the first ones right there. Um, about equivalent in, in, in money-wise and everything too. So we're gonna set that there, and then we're gonna set this one here. Now let's dive back into <coughs> the Lucky Tackle Box. I'm trying to get over a cold, so I hope you guys can bear with me. Um, the next thing we got is another crankbait. This is a crankbait. This is another square bill crankbait in a shad color, more white. Um, white silver with black flake. Almost looks like kind of a crappie pattern on top, which is kind of cool. And um, yeah, um, I fish a lot of ponds that have crappie in them, so that actually worked really good. But check that out. Super cool bait, and that is made by Max Lore. And um, it's really good looking bait. And that is from the Lucky Tackle Box. And then the equivalent we got going on here, let's dive in here. We got another six cents lure. This is the Cloud9 C15. This is another shad pattern with some chartreuse on the bottom. Blue black on top. And um, super cool looking bait. Look at that. Oh yeah, six cents badass dude. Gotta love it. See, check it out. Just so you know. So if you're looking for that, this is a deep diver. I um, mean, this guy dives with 12 to 19 feet. Yeah, so pretty sweet for the suspended fish. So there you go, six cents mystery tackle box. That's what we got comparison right there. Boom, boom. Two for two, right there. So let's throw that one there. We'll throw the six cents one there. Let's dive back into the mystery tackle box. And we got this crazy little thing, which I think is super, super cool. This is actually a Carl's Bait, Amazing Baits, the Runt. 
and I love this thing. I think this thing is cool looking. Check it out. Pretty sweet. I watched uh, Justin Rackley from uh, Lake Fork Guy TV. He was fishing one of these on one of his last videos and catching white bass and largemouth on it. Um, pretty cool. This is a shallow diver. It's got a really shallow lip on it. Probably one to three feet, maybe a little bit further. Um, but um, we'll see. Um, doesn't really say. But um, really cool bait. This purple, um, black, and chartreuse. And yeah, I'm digging it. So that's that one. And then we got in the six cents box. Let's dig in here. We have got another bait and this is actually this really sweet swim bait um, super cool this is called the super glide 100 um, check this out in a silver shad pattern silver white shad pattern it's got a little trailer on the end of it pretty badass there you go there's the side of the box just in case you guys want to look that up for them so there you go next comparison if I can juggle around try to get this to juggle around so you can see it a little better go ahead, move, do your thing there we go and there, oh, he's rolling down. So, there's your one-to-ones. There's six cents. There's Mystery Tackle Box on top. Ah! It's, it, anyway, there you go. Mystery Tackle Box, six cents. Boom, boom. There you go. So, that's three for three. That's what we got going on there. Three for three right there. We got three crankbaits over here. Three crankbaits over here. Pretty cool deal. Let's dive into the mystery tackle box again and we have got a death stalker this is actually a blade bait these things are super awesome I have tons of them if you look over here on my wall you'll see a whole bunch of them right there um, so yeah they definitely work um, you do tend to lose them because they get snagged up on the bottom but check it out super cool death stalker very cool it's got a little blade on the back of it um, and basically you just chuck this out you want to sit the bottom and you just pop it up let it fall pop it up let it fall pop it up let it fall and those fish will nail it so there you go so that's the dust stalker that's out of the mystery tackle box and let's jump over here and we have another crankbait from six cents this is actually a crawl pattern crank um this thing is super cool check it out um so this is the curve 55 check it out curve 55 this is what the bait looks like so you can see it there's the top of it there's another angle of it right there um that's probably the best way to see it because the way it's laying in the box but um Super cool bait. This is another medium diver. This guy dives, what does he dive? He says five to nine feet. Um, I love crawl pattern stuff. Yeah, can't go wrong. So there you go. Death Stalker from Mystery Tackle Box and another crankbait from Six Cents. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Boom. So there you go. So Death Stalker there, another crankbait. So we got four crankbaits from. Um, from six cents and we've got three crankbaits and the death stalker from uh mystery tackle box and um what else we got in there i think i forgot to put one in there um when i was putting it back this one actually came with one more which is over here and um, i'd already hung these up sorry um i'm reshooting this video so i apologize but this one was actually in the bag too and um so we'll get over here first we had the vile bugs from biospawn that came in the mystery tackle box do, 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 and if you guys know anything about these, these are creature baits. And these are actually, um, these are um, white, but they're kind of translucent too when you hold them up in the light. They got some fl flake in them, like blue flake, black flake in them. Um, pretty cool stuff. And then from Six Sense, we got the Crush 100X that came in there. This is actually a green, blue, silver top with a white body. Um, super cool. Another crankbait because you know crankbait's getting ready to turn on big time. So there you go. Um, for a little bit dirtier stained water, that's probably a really good one to use. So we got bio spawn creature crawls, creature baits in the mystery tackle box, and then we got another crank bait in the six cents box. Boom, boom. There you go. So so far we've got four, um, five crank baits in the six cents, and we got three crank baits, the dust stalker, and bio spawn vile bugs from mystery tackle box. Now the last thing in the mystery tackle box we got there is a super cool. This is actually a swing jig. Um, I love these. Um, super cool jigs. I mean, I love to put creature baits or worms on there. These have weights on. This has a football head. You just throw it out and just drag it on the bottom, and it makes that bait just kind of do like that up in the air, and it gives it a lot more action, and, and I love fishing these. Catch a lot of bass on these. Super cool. And then what was in here for for some terminal tackle was the um, peg stoppers from Six Sense. There you go. Boom. Peg stoppers. So boom. So we got a little bit of terminal tackle in each box. So here you go, six cents gave me peg stoppers, mystery tackle box, I got the swing jig. So boom, 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 there you go. Um, pretty stoked, that's awesome. I like getting stuff like that. It's all good fishable stuff. Now, 
one last thing that came in this mystery tackle box that um, was a little extra thing that they threw in there, like I said, was a little silver Panther Martin that was in there. It's actually in my tackle box over here. Um, so I already um, shot a video once, it was downloading it, and it got corrupted somehow, so I have to reshoot the video. So here we are. And the last thing we had in there for six cents, they sent me this cool crazy koozie. You know, they throw, I've had got hats from them, I've got wind face shields from them, and so you get a little bit of other cool stuff with it, so that's pretty cool. So there you go. That's what I got in both boxes. Um, that's basically a one-to-one -one comparison. You can see what I got. Here's a pile of stuff over here. I got five crankbaits and the little koozie and the peg stoppers from Six Cents, and then I got three crankbaits. I got the dust stalker, I got the vile bug, and I got the swing jig, and I got the Panther Martin spinner from Mystery Tiger Box. Um, Pretty, pretty sweet deal. Um, I really love both boxes. And what I want you guys to do, do me a favor and tell me which box you guys liked better. And tell me which lures you like better. And, um, yeah, pretty cool. And um, here's a shot real quick of, um, I'm going to put at the end of this, I'm going to show you guys, uh, here's a shot of both boxes side by side so you guys can see what they look like. So, one second, boom, here you go. Alright guys, so here's a quick shot of both boxes side by side. So over here, you got Mystery Taco Box right here. And then over here, we got the Six Cents box. Um, so let's go over here so as you guys can see. This is everything that came in the Mystery Taco Box right there. And then if we move over here, this is everything that came in the Six Cents box right there. And now let's pull out so you guys can kind of just see a little bit of a comparison side by side. And so... Like I said, you guys tell me which one that you guys thought was the coolest and what lures you liked that were the best. All right, so there's both boxes side by side. So now you guys got to see that. So now I want you guys, like I said, I want you to tell me, you know, which box you like better or which one you would prefer. And then tell me which lures you liked, which, which things you like best out of both boxes, one box, other box, either one. Leave the comments down below. Um, and you know what? Um, whoever comes up with something pretty good, I might, I might, I don't know. So you got to leave some comments, but if you guys leave some pretty good comments about which lords you like best or which ones you think were your favorites or which box was your favorites, I might pull something out of one of the boxes and pick up that lucky person. I'm going to actually read the comments and not use a random subscriber this time. And whoever has the best comment, I might give you something out of one of the boxes. Um, so yeah, um, you might get something out of one of these boxes. So down below, leave a comment about which lures you liked best out of the boxes or if you liked all the boxes and which box you liked the best. So here's the deal, this is what we'll do. I want you to leave a comment of which, which was your favorite lures or lure, um, if you only had one, and then which was your favorite box. And the best comment that I think when I see it in the description below is gonna get something out of one of these boxes. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, it'll be a surprise to you and um, when I announce the winner, I'll show you what you're going to get. So let's do that. That sounds like a good idea to me. I'm going to give something away in one of these boxes. Um, it's definitely not going to be the terminal tackle stuff. It'll actually be one of the baits, whether it's the soft plastics or one of the crank baits. Um, I don't know. Or you might get more than one. I don't know. But you're going to win something. So you got to make sure you leave some comments down there. Like I said, I want to comment about which were your favorite lures, and which was your favorite box. And if you liked them both, then you can say both, that's fine too. So with that being said, I want you guys to do me a favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that ding dong button, and all those things you gotta do for YouTube. Um, I am on Instagram, I am on Twitter, and I am on Facebook as well. You can find me, it's all Bravo Bassin. You can check it out. And I wanna say thanks to all my new subscribers, and thanks to all my subscribers that I have. I really appreciate you. I'm really trying to build this channel. So if you could share this video and tell people about my channel and get them to subscribe, I would truly appreciate that. And if you guys didn't find my last videos, I'm actually doing a knife giveaway as well. Um, if I haven't already given it away, um, but I'll be giving away a knife every month now. So you need to stick with me because um, I got a bunch of veterans that are making me a bunch of cool knives that are handmade, custom forged that you will win once a month. So if you're one of my subscribers, you could win a knife. I mean, you never know. It's really easy. All you gotta do is hit like, hit subscribe, share that thing, and put a comment down below in the videos, and you could, that's all you gotta do to enter. It's pretty easy. So yeah, thank you guys. I um, appreciate it. That's all I got. And uh, the only other thing I got to say is do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, and catch some fish.